There are different types of journals. In a lesson where the anchor task is to put 42 ice cream cones into three containers, such that every container has the same number of ice cream cones, some journal entries teachers can let students write about include the following. The first kind, what I might call descriptive journals. In descriptive journals, students are asked to describe how they solve a problem. So in this lesson, some students may draw pictures to show how they put 42 ice cream cones equally into three containers. Others may write equations. Others may use number bonds. And whatever other methods they decide to describe in their journal. That's the first kind of journal entry. The descriptive journal where the focus is on describing the methods they have used. A second type of journal is evaluative journals. Perhaps during the lesson, the class may have discussed a variety of ways to solve a problem. Perhaps in this lesson, some of them may have decided to split 42 into 30 and 12. And others may have decided to split the number in another way. For example, 24 and 18. And afterwards, the teacher may invite the students to compare, to evaluate between the two methods. And the journal entry could be, which method do you prefer and why? This type of journal entry is what I might call evaluative journals. In evaluative journals, students are focusing on evaluating between methods of solution, saying which method they prefer saying which method is better. A third kind of journal is the creative journal. In creative journal entries, students are doing something that may be considered to be creative. For example, to pose problems. The teacher may invite students after they have solved the anchor task to write in their journal a different word problem that can be solved by doing the same calculation. Write a word problem that can be solved by doing 42 divided by 3. In creative journals, students are doing something creative, for example, posing a problem. The fourth kind of journal is investigative journal. In investigative journals, students are using their journals as a logbook, recording the results of their investigation. Perhaps in this lesson, the teacher may ask, all right, we have found out that 42 divided by 3 is 14. Let's investigate what other two-digit numbers divided by what other one-digit numbers give us the same quotient of 14. Let's investigate and let's record the findings in our journal. In this example, we may say that the journal is an investigative journal. These are the four types of journals, descriptive journal, evaluative journal, creative journal, and investigative journal. 